Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this today's video, I'll show you how to install and configure Tailwind CSS in Angular. As you can see, I have created a new project which is Netflix clone YT and this is already running. And as you can see, this is compiled successful as well. So what I will be doing, I will have to install Tailwind. So let me open up a new terminal and I will be following a few bunch of steps provided by Tailwind. Okay. So if you go on this website, tailwind.com slash guide slash Angular, here you have to follow this step which is npm install hyphen d i'm not doing these two steps because my project is already up and running okay so now let me copy this step and let's go in the terminal and paste this step okay so once i paste it hyphen d means this is our dev dependency so hit enter and this will install these three packages which is tailwind css push css and auto prefixer okay so the package has been added now you will have to create a tailwind css config so this step will help you to do that so copy this step go in the terminal paste it as you can see a file got created which is tailwind.config.js okay you will have to uh, make this config look something like this so you can copy this step as well and you can just go and paste it here okay so this will point out all this content which has html and .ts file save the changes now you have to import these styles in your global css so open up your source folder style.css and you can paste it here and save the changes. So after doing all these steps, you just need to run your project and you can see your Tailwind CSS is installed. So let me copy this step and paste it in the app.component.html so that I can see if my Tailwind is working or not. So once I paste the changes and now I have to compile the project and it is compiled successful. Let's go on the project and you can see that it is still not working because I have added a underline but that underline is not working. So to make it work what you need to do you have to restart your application. So you do control C application stopped again i need to do ng serve i can see application compiled successful let's go on the browser and verify can you see i'm able to get the underline now so let me do some more changes just to see if it works so let me add a button with the text hello and i will add some bunch of css of tailwind so i need to add a color bg okay indigo i can give this color 500 i can add a padding of 3 i can add margin of 3 and save the changes now if i go on the browser i should be able to see this button yes it works fine let me make it more better so that it looks like a button so what i will do here right i'll just say text light so this will make it like lime white color and I can add some more padding to it. Padding X I can add as 7. Also I want to make it rounded so I will say rounded button. So save the changes and now you can see if it is applied. Yes I can see that my button is created okay which means the tailwind is installed successfully and you can use that in your project. Also I have written a blog on the same topic that how to install tailwind CSS in angular and if you go on this website let's program dot in you can find this blog. I have written everything step by step so you can follow this step to install and start using tailwind in your project. All right so that's it from this today's video if you have loved this video then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing my channel because I will be coming up with a new project which is Netflix clone. I have already announced it on my telegram channel and Instagram and also on the YouTube post. So I will be starting that video very soon. So you can just subscribe to my channel to get updated about that upcoming video. So till that time, happy coding and see you again.